So today we are not going to see any topics on Pega. What we are going to see is how to resolve the less secure apps okay, issue because now if you see Google have deactivated this less secure apps feature okay, and like it has been like still it will work only if you are using Google Worker Space or Google Ident Cloud Identity Server. So what less secure apps meaning okay or what it means and how it will impact okay so how it can impact is that let's say you are uh, like a developer and uh, you you are doing some puc or you have used gmail account to send an email from your application from your application so applications can be any technology it's a pega or any open source technology from react from php or from angular okay if you're sending any email okay then uh, like if you have used this feature less secure apps features then it will not work so if i just click here earlier what uh, google used to give an options to activate or deactivate okay so let me see that okay we had an options to just that options is not coming okay so we have an options from where we can just enable or disable okay so yeah this is the page okay so this is the page from where we can enable or disable previously but now google have uh, uh, deactivated that feature or disable that feature from may 30. so now the question is how we can still use it okay because yes definitely we need that features for our poc development okay if you're not working for any enterprise applications then definitely we need a gmail account we need smtp from where we can send an email and mostly we use for the gmails one only so how we can resolve this okay so there is a two step process to resolve this so the first step is we have to enable uh, enable uh, enable our uh, google account for two step verifications okay so here we can go to manage account okay so this is the first step so click on manage your account okay once we click um, click on manage your account will fall to this place and then we need to click on security and then we have to scroll down and come to uh, this one one second let me see recovery email yeah here signing to google verification so two step verification so you can see i have already verified two step verification is there if not there for you then you need to do okay so what you need to what the moment you'll click on there it will ask you to enter the password gmail password so see so now like i have already verified so that's why it's not asking for me so this is the first step you need to do and the second step then the second step is that you need to generate the password. So the here, oh, like again, the what is the meaning of less secure apps means that your current default Gmail password. Okay, let's say that you have a XYZ password for your Gmail account. That password will not work if you're using your Gmail account to send an email. Okay, so to send an email from other applications, we usually configure the SMTP host details, port, and then user ID and password. Okay, so that password will not work. Okay, so now we need to generate a, a new password. Okay, and for that only, it's the first step is to like enable secure. Okay, two step verification. So two step phase verifications, we already just saw that how we can enable. The next step is how we can generate another password which we can use in our application. Okay, so again, we'll go to the same place security. So here, you can see that okay so two step verifications is enabled now after that what we can do we can go to this app password so we need to generate a new app password because the default gmail password will not work for you okay so we can click on this one okay and then again it will ask to enter the password so here now we can generate as many as password we can uh, like we need for our apps let's say if you are using 10 apps then we can generate 10 apps okay so for each apps it will generate a new password to like and why google has done it google has done it to provide more security so if you see here if i select apps so the by default the few of the things google thinks is coming but we don't need it let's say if you are using from any other apps like from pega or from any other angular app or java app okay so then you can select custom app and then you can say my sample app and then you can click on to generate a password so now in place of your default google password you need to use this password and then it will work okay so today only i test it for me it was not working because in my site like i was using uh, my default password to send an email like previously but like i suddenly realized that it's not working so then i go ahead and fixed it okay so now you need to give this password and once the moment you'll give it and rerun your code like or deploy your code then it will work okay and also let's see if you don't need it okay so if i don't need it okay 
then like if you have done some POC in some other applications or like in other environment and you don't want that applications to access then you can simply go ahead and delete also so we can delete it so now that password is gone we cannot use it and also if you see here in that uh, account management page we can see the history also so I'll again navigate it to manage your account so if I go to security we can see that when we have generated recent activity in recent activity we can see that when we have generated a password and what we have done okay so we can see the entire history from where we have done it what was the laptop and everything we can see so so that's how we can resolve this issue so again I just I'll, I'll, I'll repeat quickly so that if you are using your gmail account okay previously or if it is not working so definitely it has been deactivated on may 30 only so maybe if you are trying to use that and if you don't know this okay then you need to generate app password okay so in place of default gmail password and then it will definitely work okay so that's it for today it's a quick video and and if you are liking my video then please do like and subscribe and and share with friends also so thank you thank you very much have a good day